Hi, this is John Twist of University Motors. Today I just want to talk a little bit about fasteners. Uh, that's, the, that's the dollar word for nuts and bolts and washers and so forth. So when you're working on MGs, you've got to have a really good supply, a really good, I don't have anywhere near the supply anymore that I used to have when we ran University Motors as a full-time business. Then we had our gross cabinet. It had 144 drawers. It had coarse and fine. It had metric because you need metric for a T-type engine. It had all kinds. It was just beautiful. It was great. We had every nut and bolt that you'd need. I've got a mini version of that here and I just want to show it to you because whether you do it in, in plastic boxes or, or, or cardboard boxes or trays or something, you've got to have this stuff quickly available. So Sarah's going to stand on the chair and I'm going to start here and show you that this is my 832 drawer. Now remember that there is no number 8 in an MG because all the little tiny threads are BA, British Association. But 2BA, which is the most common one, is the same as 1032. So here, here I've got it. I've got nuts, nylocks, lock washers, flat washers, um, by half inch, by five eighths, by three quarters, by one. I've got some 2BA nuts. You can see these 2BA nuts are quite different from a 1032 nut and you'll recognize them as the, as the, the British nut, 2BA. So here, here we go with the, with the number 10 stuff, um, which of course matches that. Then we've got quarter inch. So here's quarter inch, and again, I've got nuts and nylocks and flat washers and lock washers. They should be lined up better. And uh, bolts by half inch bolts by three quarters, bolts by inch and a quarter, internal star washers. Uh, we don't use any external star washers as for electrical work. We got quarter inch down, down here. These, these little trays just barely fit in these drawers. And, it, and I got brass nuts here for uh, uh, 5 16 And I've got prevailing torque nuts which are round on this side, round on this side, but this side has been squished into an ellipse, so it takes three or four foot-pounds to put it onto a stud, so they're, they're, they're not nylocks. Nylocks work just great in some applications, um, but if, if you got high heat, you're gonna melt the nylon. Uh, but they're, same, they're the same kind of fastener, though. They're, they're a locking nut, so these work great on, on exhaust. The brass nuts work nice on, on exhaust. Star washers, flat washers, the works. And then we go down here and we've got, now yeah, these don't fit so well, I have to be careful. And I've got um, three eights. And again, same stuff. Nuts, lock washers, flat washers. I don't have any nylocks. Used to, but don't need more of the star washers and so forth. And, and then I get down here to set seven sixteenths, which is big as I go because there isn't much application for it in an MG. But remember that all the threads on the MG are fine thread, American fine thread. They're not really, they're UNF, Unified National Fine. Um, but American fine thread, SAE works. There are coarse threads, of course, um, <laughs> of course. And they fit into aluminum housings and places and so forth, but they're not used very much. So you, what you need to make your workshop complete is a is a way to find these nuts and bolts um, and and then to have a wonderful supply i buy mine from mcmaster car it's easy schmeasy just tick on the box and 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 uh, the next day you've got a bag of 25 3 16 uh, clevis pins or whatever it is that you're you're ordering they're great so, so just that, just my comment about, about nuts and bolts and until later, safety fast.